Do you know what the numbers in a 10-10-10 fertilizer mean? If you think they mean 10% nitrogen, 10% phosphorus, and 10% potassium, you're wrong. You better stick around and get the facts about this fertilizer. And what I'm going to tell you here applies to all fertilizer, not just a 10-10-10. It turns out that most gardening sites on the internet get this wrong. And many other sites that really should know better also get it wrong. Here are some examples. Agromag, a magazine for agriculture. They say, in case you didn't know by now, the 10-10-10 formula represents the amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Each of these ingredients is 10%. Well, they're wrong. The Colorado State University Extension Office wrote this on their website. 100 pounds of a 5-10-10 fertilizer contains 5 pounds of nitrogen, 10 pounds of phosphorus, and 10 pounds of potassium. They're wrong as well. And you'll note this isn't a 10-10-10 because what I'm going to tell you here applies to all fertilizer. The University of Minnesota Extension said this. A 100-pound bag of 10-20-10 fertilizer contains 10 pounds of nitrogen, 20 pounds of phosphorus, and 10 pounds of potassium. They're wrong. Even the fertilizer companies can't get this right. CIL, which makes fertilizers, had this to say. A product mark 101010 contains 10% nitrogen, 10% phosphorus, and 10% potassium. They're wrong as well. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, all these experts can't be wrong. Why does Pavlis think he's right? Well, if you go to the right sites that are written by people who really understand fertilizer and a little chemistry, they do get it right. This isn't a big mystery. But for some reason, so many sites get it wrong, and particularly gardening sites have it wrong. I promised you a video to explain this, and that's what this video is all about. Now, we're going to get into a little technical information here, but it's not that hard to understand, and I think it's really important that gardeners understand this. So bear with me. We have to go back to basics, and we have to define some terms and get our language correct. I think this is why so many people get this wrong, because they're not careful about the words they're using. Let's first talk about nitrogen. That's the first number. Nitrogen is an element, and it consists of one atom, a nitrogen atom. Nitrogen doesn't really exist in nature. The air here is 78% nitrogen, but it's not really nitrogen. It's a nitrogen gas, and that gas is made up of two nitrogen molecules. It's N2. So strictly speaking, it's not nitrogen. Plants also don't use nitrogen, although we use that terminology a lot, right? We feed our plants nitrogen. Plants are nitrogen deficient because we haven't fertilized enough. That kind of terminology is actually wrong. What plants use are molecules that contain nitrogen, things like nitrate, nitrite, and urea. That's what plant roots absorb, and that's what we use when we fertilize. What about phosphorus? Well, it's an element too. If you had pure phosphorus, it comes in two common forms, a white powder and a red powder. Both of these are very reactive. In fact, if you take the white powder and expose it to air, it actually burns. If you touch either of these, it'll burn your skin. Put it on some plants, it'll burn the plants. We talk about plants using phosphorus, but in fact, they don't use phosphorus, not as the element. They do use phosphorus as part of other molecules. And the most common one is phosphate. Notice the A-T-E at the end. And that's phosphorus and oxygen combined. It's a PO4 molecule. Now, there are other phosphorus molecules around, but PO4 is the one that most plants use, and it's the one we find in fertilizer. Now let's have a look at potassium. It's also an element, and it's an element plants don't use. Potassium is actually a silver metal. It's very soft. You could squeeze it in your hands, except, of course, it burn you. You take a little phosphorus, and you drop it in water, and it explodes and burns, and you'll see a flame and smoke coming out. It's very reactive, and you don't really find the metal in nature. Plants do use the salts that have potassium in there. Fertilizer tends to have something in there called potash. And potash is a term that actually means a number of different molecules. In the gardening and fertilizer world, we assume that potash is K2O. But strictly speaking, it could be other potassium-type molecules. Let's get back to our 10-10-10 fertilizer. 
the first number is the percent nitrogen. So in a 10, 10, 10, you have 10% nitrogen. That's an easy one. What about the phosphorus? That middle number represents a compound called phosphorus pentoxide, P2O5. So that fertilizer has 10% of the P2O5. It does not have 10% phosphorus. If we look at this molecule, it has two atoms of phosphorus and five of oxygen, and it's a weight number. We have to look at the weight of these atoms, and phosphorus is fairly heavy, but so is oxygen. Just because you can't sense the weight of the oxygen in, in the air, it does have a weight. Let me try and calculate the amount of phosphorus in that fertilizer. We have to correct for the oxygen there. So it turns out that 10% P2O5 is the same as 4.4% phosphorus. It's not 10% phosphorus. What about potassium, the third number? Well, that number represents the percent of potash, the K2O. So in that molecule, there's two potassiums and only one oxygen. So the potassium is the majority of the weight. It turns out that that number represents 8.3% potassium. So let's summarize all this. So if you're looking at this 10-10-10 fertilizer, it is correct to say that it contains 10% nitrogen, 10% phosphorus pentoxide, and 10% potash. It is also correct to say that it contains 10% nitrogen, 4.4% phosphorus, and 8.3% potassium. But it's incorrect to say that it contains 10% of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now, who cares? This seems like semantics. Well, this becomes really important when you're trying to figure out how much fertilizer to put on your garden. If you have your soil tested and the lab says you should add two pounds of phosphorus, you have to know the numbers I just gave you to calculate the right amount of fertilizer to add to your garden. You buy a bag, it only contains 4.4% phosphorus. It doesn't contain 10% phosphorus. So when you're applying fertilizer, it's important to know these numbers. Now, if you just go and buy fertilizer and spread it around and you don't care how much you're adding, then they don't matter. Did you know that you shouldn't use a 10-10-10 fertilizer or any other balanced fertilizer? If you didn't know that, you missed my last video and you can get to it right here. Happy garden.